So I got this beautiful botanical wallpaper from Mew's Wall Studio and I'm going to show you how I put it up without using the tools that you normally would need for this, um, like an X-Acto knife or a yardstick. So it comes with instructions, it's fairly simple, so you just want to wipe down the walls, give them a really good wipe down. And then roll out the wallpaper onto the floor and find something to hold it down with. So basically what we're going to do is cut the wallpaper to the exact size of each piece of wall. So I'm measuring extremely carefully because this needs to be precise. And then write it down so you don't forget. And so <laughs> what I'm doing here is not the ideal way to do this, but again, if you don't have the tools that are needed to do this properly, uh, this is a great way to do it. It just takes a little extra effort. So what I'm doing is taking that width measurement and making marks all the way down the length of the paper. And then I'm going to take a book or really you could use any straight long ish object and I'm just going to make a nice long straight line all the way down the paper and then I'm going to cut it with scissors and the line is perfect so I just I really made sure that it was straight perfect line and then carefully cut it with scissors and it comes with this wall smoother which is really nice you could use a credit card if you don't have one um, so then I'm just holding it up to the wall to make sure that it's the correct size and then I take down a little bit of the backing, stick it up at the top and then kind of smooth it down uh, with the backing still on it just to make sure that it's all going to lay correctly once you take the adhesive off. So once you get it perfect you can start pulling the backing down little by little and using the smoother as you go to uh, take out any bubbles. So it's kind of a long, tedious process, but it's definitely worth it to take your time because you will be very frustrated <laughs> if you get to the bottom and it's not laying correctly. So just take your time and make sure that it's perfect. And if you measured and cut with precision, this should lay perfectly on the wall. That took a while. It actually took almost Finn's whole nap to do that. So that'll just give you an idea of how long this takes. <laughs> This last panel was kind of tricky. The larger it is, I think the harder it is. I thankfully didn't have to deal with any pattern matching, so if you have a larger wall, then you actually need to match the pattern with the edging, so that can be kind of tricky, but I didn't have to deal with that. And then I didn't show it, but I also added a little piece over the door. So that's it. I still have to paint the door and switch out the hardware. Uh, we're going to change the doorknob and probably add some art to the wall or something like that. But so far I love it. I'm really excited with how this brightened up our little space. 